Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Let's Play Chrono Trigger. It is about 10 to 7 in the morning, so I'm going to try and be a little more quiet than usual. But, yeah, in this part, we will be finishing off the Rainbow Shell quest, as well as... Um, doing the Black Omen. Yes, that's it. Uh, hopefully, this will be the last part. If not, there will be just one more after this. Not too much longer to go, and I will be doing... I will be finishing the game. So, if you're watching this right now, the Let's Play is officially finished. And, yeah... Ah. So yeah, this is it. We're finishing it right now. Anyway, after you get the Rainbow Shell, what you want to do is go to 1000 AD, have Marl as the leader of your party, and then go up this tower right here. Like so. Sorry, I have nothing to talk about right here. There are many things I could talk about, I suppose. But I won't. Bom, bom, bom. Bom, 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 bom. To the basement we go! Ah, too far! Basement, not kitchen. Even though they're on the same level. Oh, there's some trickery going on here, it seems. Yes, these are the same enemies we fought at the very start of the game. They have not been improved in stats at all. Oh, more battles! Hooray! Um, yeah. This music is getting me pumped up. I don't know what it is. I just feel like... I feel like doing something. That and I'm tired as all hell. I should probably go get some caffeine or something. But I won't. Yeah, I'm gonna force you guys to listen to me ramble sleepily. Cause I'm that nice of a guy. So, I actually already did all of this once already. I had recorded the entire end of the game took about two hours, yeah, two hours, to beat the game and watch all the credits and whatnot. 
And then, out of nowhere, Camtasia decided to lose the r recording data. Yeah, I know. What a dick move. And so, this was gonna be uploaded like a month ago. Yeah, like I said, this was supposed to be uploaded a month ago, but after losing two hours of gameplay, I just, I basically lost the will to play this game. But, I'm in a good mood, I have nothing else to do right now, so I figured I'd finish this off for you guys. So I'm sure there's some of you who are probably anxiously awaiting this. I don't know who you are, but I'm, I'm sure you're out there. I hope. Maybe. Probably not, but I can hope. I can dream. Epic jump! Badass princess coming to theaters near you this February 30th. Chancellor. I knew he would be trouble. I like how the judge just disappears. What? That that spell It couldn't be. It is. Marl is almost dead. Yeah. Robo should be able to solo this anyway, with his 999 HP. You dick. Another one of the reasons I lost will to play this game was because I, like an idiot, accidentally saved over my furthest ahead save file. So if I wanted to record this, I would have I would have had to go all the way back to an old save file I had, which was uh, I think right before I went and fought Ozzy and Slash and Flea and all them play for an hour and that would have caught me up to where I was to where I would have had to record the next two hours it just wasn't a fun time
should be just about dead. Oh, you. Aha! It ended in a zero. Robo's damage doesn't change at all. I can't remember if I explained how Robo's weapon works. Um, I'll get into it later. I'm pretty sure that was in the last take. I'll explain it after this fight. Oh, yes, and if you notice any sort of differences between this current file and what it should have been based on the last episode, you now know why. It's because I had to replay through an hour, and there's no way I'm going to be able to play through an hour completely identical to how I played it when I recorded. What's there to not understand about that? She'll bring you her loved one. I, I don't... I don't know. I like good scenes like that. Melchior! I just totally had my teeth chatter in your ear, I apologize. Uh, here I would suggest you get the prism helms because you can steal prism dresses from a boss coming up and also prism dresses can only be worn by women anyway so there's really no point for me to have them because I only have the ladies in the party when I'm forced to Let's equip those now. Oh no, that's better anyway, because of the protect status. Okay.
that is Chrono's best weapon. So let's get that. Yes, it increases your critical hit rate enormously, so he'll hit criticals the majority of the time. And what about those prism specs? Okay, you can have them. Actually, nah. Okay, you can have the silver stud. Also bring Magus into my party. Chrono's the leader. Um, too many buttons. Okay, I'm finicky about my team order. Okay. Also. I'd just like to apologize again for, I think it was last part that had that annoying beeping going on with the mic audio. Apparently, one of the wires in my new headphone cord was like, stripped or something. Let's free the Chancellor. Hooray! Okay. And with that, it is time for the final dungeon. Now, what you could do is you could you could stay here in 1000 AD and then you could go all the way down here and you could go on to the Black Omen here and then after you beat it you can go back to 600 AD like so and the Black Omen would still be there and you could go through it again and fight those last three bosses or whatever but for symbolic issues, I'm going to go back to the source where the black omen is and take it out right now. Oh my, my guys are weak. I have no problem wasting elixirs, because I'm a boss. Oh, I'm really tired. I used to have a lot of trouble with this boss. For some reason, I just could not kill him. And I tried like 10, 15 plus times. Ooh, damn it, I forgot to explain how Robo's current weapon works. So as I showed you in one of the parts, two pa last part, I think. Yeah, last part. Uh, Robo got two weapons from his little side quest. The Terra Arm and the Crisis Arm. The Terra Arm has the highest attack of all of his weapons, but the Crisis Arm has the highest damage potential, because how the Crisis Arm works is it takes the last digit 
of Robo's HP and uses that as the basis or whatever for his damage. So right now you see his HP is at 2. And now it's at 9. So when it was at 2 it did like 600 damage I think that was. 632 or something. But now that it's at 9 it rises drastically. And now, some of you are probably asking, well, why didn't you just give Robo the prism specs like you were going to, to increase that even more? And that is because the silver earring that he has now increases his max HP to 999. So if he ever gets hurt, all I have to do is heal him, he'll hit max HP again, and he'll be doing his max damage. Just ease of access kind of thing. Yeah, this should be good. Hehehe. <laughs> Should be an enemy coming up that I abs yeah, I hate these guys. I believe they absorb all of Magus's magic. I'll check. There might be some that they don't. I don't know. I usually just use shadows and they absorb that. They also absorb lightning. No, nope, they don't absorb fire though. But yeah. These are another enemy that I had a lot of problems with. Because the first time I played this, I was just a kid. I was like 11 or 12 years old. And so I wasn't understanding the concept of like healing and whatnot. So I would like be attacking with Robo. And then I'd have Chrono use Luminaire, which would heal heal them for all the damage that Robo just did. And I just wasn't making any ground with them and they would always wipe me out. You bastards. Now I gotta revive Magus. Have him with his 58. Oh, god damn it! Oh, I swear to god. Damn it. Yes, go Magus. Whew. That's better. Mm. Yeah, I was kind of wasteful with my MP there. But that is because I saw this. Uh, yeah, I better play it safe. Yes, that was my previous save file from when I already recorded all of this. Well, damn. Oh, ended in a zero again.
God damn it, die! You know what? I don't care if it's wasteful. Oh yes, I also got Luminaire this time. In my other video, I hadn't got Luminaire by this point for whatever reason. Because I definitely remember getting it in the Black Omen and my Lost Pink. Luminaire is the strongest oh these guys. Okay. So the center one in this fight, that big eye locks all of your techniques and whatever. So that all you can use is your regular attack. Normally this would be fine. Except those two little eyes have an exceptionally high evade. So they are ridiculously hard to kill. On top of that, they run away after a certain amount of turns. They're basically like those rubble enemies I showed you. Oh god, I have the devil on my side. Uh, yeah, they'll run away. And you lose all the experience and TP they give you. They give like a hundred TP each or something. It's ridiculous. Yay! Waste pool! Yay! I could have just used a tonic. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of them. A lot. Ooh, rubble with the big hit. <laughs> oh god, that guy's tearing me apart. can do this. Damn. Oh well. Yeah, 100 tech points, which is insane. I believe... Yeah, he's, Magus is the only one who needs it. And it really helps. Uh, waste more elixirs. Just finish them off. Because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Okay. I say K a lot, don't I? Jeez, I'm like a teenage girl. Ooh, that's it. Epic. Go, 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 go. Yes! Got them both! That was amazing. Ah, mutants. Eh. Oh, you bastards. Punch. Such a great move. Um. Oh 
Oh, you bastards. Our bomb didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. Bastards! Clearly physical attacks are the way to go. Okay, with these guys, you basically want to kill them before they kill each other. Because if they touch each other, one of them will kill the other, and they'll absorb all of their HP. They have 1500, I believe. Yay! Oh my god, I hate fighting these things. They're just such a pain. The sigh. Damn. Damn. <laughs> there we go. Good old dark. I didn't even know you could come over here. Oh. There should be another mutant coming up. Oh. Lucky me. Let's try dark matter while I'm here. Just, just take it out for a test run like a car. Oh, you dick. Why is everyone picking on Magus? Meanies. Oh, for the love of God.
Just run away. Thank you. The Gapa. Luminaire for shits and giggles. Trust me, you'll see why I'm being such a wasteful bastard with my items and magic and ether and whatnot in a sec here. Maybe not in a sec, in a bit. Later. Really soon. Okay, anyway, right here. Talk to him. Um, shop! There we go. Okay. Yeah, that just happened. Ethers are a little more cost efficient. Yeah, let's sell all of my worthless items. Don't need you. I'm basically just selling anything that doesn't improve my guys' armor. Ooh, okay. Really? You guys can't equip it anyway. Damn it. Okay. All the way back down. Dark mail. All those mails I spent so long searching for. Gone in the blink of an eye. Yeah, I no longer need the Terra arm. Since I'm using the crisis arm. Okay. And yeah, let's buy 35 of you just because I can. Haste Helm, that's what I. God damn it! Haste. Haste Helm. Love auto haste. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's the halfway point.
What a joke. Oh no! Oh, I meant to use confuse. Oh well. These wannabes. Okay, as long as they don't get a turn in between any of these guys' turns. Because they have a move where they like sing and it confuses all of your party members. But it looks like I got them before then. than the balls. Yay, Photonics! Hey! Yay! Heh! I'm really thirsty. I'm gonna have to get a drink of something after this recording. I'm sure you all are fascinated to hear that. As you can tell, I'm running out of things to talk about. I mean... Enemies are pretty self-explanatory. Bosses are pretty self-explanatory. You don't really need me anymore. Although, I'm really the only reason you're watching at this point, because you guys could probably figure everything else out on your own. Yeah, I'm a terrible Let's Player, but what can you do? Oh, jeez, Rubble has a zero. Ah! That's not good. Mega Elixir! Like a boss. Oh, I hate that move so much. I don't know why. It's not that strong, but I hate it. I hate everything about it. Why won't you die? Oh yeah, cause Robo did zero H zero damage to that guy. Forgot about that. I have full ton of spare, what do I care? That is creepy. That's a lot of eyes. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. 
Oh, poor Chrono. <laughs> you just can't hit them. Okay, it's over. Yar. I don't know what a power shield does. Yeah. Man, I'm yawning in your guys' ear non-stop here. That's not cool of me. You bastard. Ah, oh, there I go again. Yeah, let, let's just get you out of the way. Why couldn't you hit Chrono? I should probably use my tabs. Oh, I only have the one. Okay. Ooh, and Robo passes Chrono, but Chrono is still faster because of his haste helm. Dark matter than like a boss. And Luminaire, cause I'm a wasteful bastard. Well... Fudge. Oh well, that's why I spent... 350,000 gold on... Hyper ethers. No, oh, I'm also burping in your ear like crazy. Ah, let's use one on everybody. Tap. Are you at max speed yet? No. I think 15 is max. 15 or 20.
I see. That was not very cool of you. Doing that without warning. See, that's the first time I've ever attacked them without killing them. I've never seen those guys do that. Because I've always just been too pro. Boss time! It's a shame that big epic entrance is just for a mutant. No, Really? I meant to use a full tonic. And I should be attacking the bottom, I believe. That or using magic, one of the two. Let's see. Hmm. Try an Uzi punch just to double check. Yeah, okay. Now let's try a Luminaire. How does that work out? You'd think I would know this since I just did it. Yeah, magic, okay. So Robo's useless. Although I suppose it could use shock. Or area bomb. Fucking area bomb. You know, I like to think my confidence as a Let's Player has improved over this past year. I was really awkward in that first part of Let's of this Let's Play. And now, I just trip over my words and continue on like nothing happened. Some of you might not even notice it. Maybe. If I wish for it hard enough. Yeah, I, I think I think Chrono Trigger was was a good choice for a first let's play. It's something that I know well enough. And what not. I can be confident while playing, because I do know what I'm doing. Really long dungeon.
Oh, there I go yawning in your ear again. <laughs> your timing puzzles can't fool me. That was really easy. Oh, jeez. They didn't die. I thought they were going to die. God damn it! Oh my god. Fine. Oh, I guess 20 is the max. Okay, here's the deal. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try and upload this as one two-hour-long video to YouTube. Hopefully, that's what's going to happen. But last time I tried to do that, it lost all two hours of the footage. So I'm going to cut this here, export the movie, and then start recording again, and then put the two movies together, and then that way. If YouTube doesn't accept the two-hour video, I can just upload it into two already separate parts. So, if this isn't a two-hour long video, this right here is where it's going to be cut. See so ya. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Okay, my computer is going to hate me, because right now it is currently in the process of exporting the last video. And now here I am recording the next part because I'm a douchebag to my computer save just to be sure okay onward should be another boss another mutant I think the trick with this one. I think it was to kill the base first. Nope. Kill the top. Oh, 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 oh. That was mean. There was nothing I could do there. Okay, yeah. I think it was one to kill the head. Magic, apparently. That can be arranged.
guess last part is the right word. Especially if this is like all one video. The first half. The first half of the finale. There we go. First half of the finale is exporting right now. Yeah, I give late thoughts like that all the time. I think to myself a lot. And then I carry on conversations with people who can't hear my thoughts. As if they could. Yeah. I know. I'm clinically insane. I'm clinically insane or not. Uh, let's hope not. But I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, this should be a lava spawn. Yeah. Basically, just attack the head. Do not attack the body, because I'm pretty sure it counterattacks. Basically, all of Megas' moves are out. Oh, you bitch. I gotta wait for Magus' turn. But he can use a full tonic on Robo so that he'll do max damage with Uzi Punch. Here we go. This is it. We're in the home stretch, people. This next room is. It's the second last room that we're gonna be able to move in. We're almost done. Here we go. This is the first of six of the final boss fights that I will be fighting successively one after the other nothing but boss fights from here on Yeah, I, I knew that was coming. She's a very easy boss. Just hit her with everything you have. In fact, that's basically all the bosses from here on out are. Just hit them with everything and they will die. That is the only downside to Chrono Trigger. It is exceptionally easy. Bitch. Ha! Take that! Yeah, don't be afraid to use some Mega Elixirs here. The next three bosses, when they die, give you another Mega Elixir. 
left, so... Oh my god! Again? It's not the Mega Elixir use that I'm mad about, it's that it lowers Robo's damage and she uses it right before he attacks every single time. Thank you. This boss gains defense every time you hit him with a move with this. And he gains attack every time you hit him with magic. So what I do is I just have Magus and Chrono use magic as much as they can, do as much damage there, and then I'll have Robo constantly attacking with Uzi Punch until he just becomes really weak to do super high defense. Because the defense doesn't affect his damage of Luminaire and Dark Matter. I think I'll just use him to basically use ethers and whatnot at this point. Because Ron clearly needs one. Yeah, after a while, I'm pretty sure the Mammon machine attacks you. I don't think I've ever seen it. This fight just attacked the head. Attack the head and you're set. Do not attack the hands. I'm pretty sure they have counter attacks that lower your people to 1 HP, and that would not be good. I definitely won't be doing an RPG for a Let's Play again for a while. They're just so hard to give commentary for. Uh, up, up, uh, 
there we go. Okay. Aha! Victory is mine. Also, those hands. Uh, some of you will notice that Ayla has a move called Bribe or something to that effect, where she can get items from enemies. And if you use that move on those two hands, then that's where you can get the extra prison dresses that I told you about. This is basically a boss rush mode. He turns into several of the bosses that you've faced before. And this is alright, but none of the bosses are any stronger than the first time you fought them. So this will kill it will kill this battle instantly. As will this. Like, it's an alright concept. It's good for going down memory lane and seeing how far you've really come. Nostalgic in that sense. But it's just kind of boring and meaningless because it's all just like, oh, I'll just use this one attack and it'll wipe everything out. Oh. Suddenly an enemy with a lot of HP. Ah. Ah. I'm confused. Robo will save the day. Yeah. Absorb shadow damage or not. Oh, you dick. That was stupid. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. Ah, mass immune.
Luminaire first. boss to give me a game over while I was recording, I do believe. But he's dead now. I need him to lower his defenses. probably just saw something pop up at the top layer of the screen. That would be the last part finishing its exportation or whatever. Labos to lower his defenses. This is the last one. Oh, you bastard. Oh, still have a shot. End in a one. God damn it. Yeah. 
die. Good. This fight's over. Here we go. Okay. Let's do this. Destruction rains from the heaven. No, full time. Okay. Now, say you did the Black Omen in 1000 AD, and you wanted to go back and redo the Black Omen in 600 AD and 13,000 BC, you would click on this portal, and it would take you back to the end of time. But I'm not going to do that. No, 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 no. This is the end. I'm going to finish this damn let's play right now. Once and for all. It's time. Now my mind was blown the other day because Akira Toriyama is the lead art director for Chrono Trigger as well as the creator of Dragon Ball Z. So you'll see a lot of similarities in character design and this character design of this Lavos looks almost identical to that in its first form. But what blew my mind is that Lavos is a being created by the DNA of all the life forms on Earth, while Cell is a combination of several different of basically blood cells and whatnot of different characters in Dragon Ball Z. So, I'm pretty sure Chrono Trigger came first, which means Cell is based completely off of Lavos. Like the very concept. A giant monster who took DNA from all living things. That's Cell. Because Cell is a boss. Anyway, that's my history lesson for today. Oh, wow. Uh, Why? There we 
go. Kill him with magic. Okay. Back in your range. God. I forgot how much HP this guy had. There. This is it. The final battle. The end of the Let's Play that would not end. Now this battle has a bit of a trick. Logic would tell you to attack the body in the middle, but no. First what you want to do is use the Mega Elixir. And then you want to destroy this bit on the left. Like so. Oh, god damn it. Ow. Okay, Chrono, we used our last Mega Elixir. Use it for Robo, so we can kill this bastard. Boom, should be dead. And now, the right bit will lower its defenses. This bit here. There we go. And what you want to do is kill that right bit. It has like 30,000 HP, I believe.
go, go. We got this. We got this. Come on. Yeah, he can revive those. Don't let it worry you though. Just keep attacking because its defense isn't reactivated yet. So you can just have Robo go kill it in one hit and the defense never gets reactivated. Okay, you can just keep on attacking. Oh shit, I meant to make you... I meant to make Chrono use a Hyper Ether on Robo. Yes! Holy crap! We're done, guys. That's it. After over a year, Let's Play Chrono Trigger is finally finished. I'm not gonna lie. After I lost that old footage, I didn't think we'd ever get here. I, f I figured I was just gonna leave it, and it was never gonna finish.
Yeah, sorry for being so quiet during this scene. It's just, it's the ending. It's emotional. I figured I'd just let you all enjoy the dialogue and whatnot in peace. Of course, this is just a really long, boring, unskippable scene that really shouldn't be here. But whatever. It doesn't matter. Go, go, go! Yeah, just run out. And now for the emotional goodbyes.
There you have it. I have finally finished Chrono Trigger. Whew. This is twice I've gone through all this recording and talking and ugh. But I'm kind of sad that it's over cuz I do enjoy making these videos. It gives me a reason to play great games, listen to fantastic music, make random jokes to myself. So, I don't really know what's next for me from here. I mean, I do want to keep Let's Playing. I really enjoy it. And I honestly think I'm half decent at it. It's a good waste of time. But, I don't really want to play a game and pick a game that I'm not good at. Because, yeah, seeing failure is fun. Failure is also very annoying, and part of the problem is that really all I can play are Super Nintendo and N64 games, because I can get emulators for those on my computer, obviously. But I never played much N64 as a kid, and the Super Nintendo was actually a couple of years before my time. So, there's not really any games that I'm really good at, like this one. Like, I don't play a lot of Super Nintendo. I was a PlayStation kid all the way. So, outside of Chrono Trigger, or some other RPG like Final Fantasy VI or V or something like that, I just wouldn't really be very good at it, and I would fail a lot. Like, a lot. I'd have to do a complete test run of the game so that I just have a basic idea of where everything is cuz I know I myself love watching people do blind runs but for me if I were to play like Mega Man I would just be dying so much throughout the game that you would just be watching the same stuff over and over and over again and it would get very old very quickly because you'd basically just be watching as I practiced the level until I memorized where everything was and could play it to a point where I could just barely clear it so that's why it would be kind of, kind of difficult thinking of another game to play because of that very reason. I just don't want to fail over and over and over again with you guys being forced to watch as I learn how to play some new game. And I could get a PlayStation emulator, possibly, but those are just so much work with all the plugins and downloads and configuration that they require that just... it just seems like too much work for something like that for me. Anyway, if you have any suggestions of what you want to see me play, feel free to leave it as a comment down in the comments below, whether you're seeing this a couple days after I play it or a couple years after I play it, I don't care. Feel free to leave a comment anywhere on any of my videos suggesting a game that you want me to play, and I'll probably consider it. But yeah. Let's play Chrono Trigger. It's finally finished. It's been a long road, it's been a long year. But it's finally done. 
Whew. Oh, there's music. So yeah, I can't really think of anything else for me to talk about, so... I guess this is it. This is the end. Let's play Chrono Trigger. Finally done. See you later, YouTube. I'm sure it'll be a lot sooner than you think.